The Yarsin or Al Haq Kurdish, Yarsin Yarsin, Persian, Al People of Truth, is a syncretic religion founded by Sultan Sahak in the late 14th century in western Iran. The total number of Yarsan is estimated at around 2 million or 3 million. Primarily found in western Iran and eastern Iraq, mostly ethnic Goran Kurds, though there are also smaller groups of Turk, Persian, Lori, Azerbaijani and Arab adherents. Some Yarsanis in Iraq are called Kakai. Yarsanis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. Yarsanis say that some people call them disparagingly as Ali o Alihi or worshippers of Ali, which labels Yarsanis deny. Many Yarsanis hide their religion due to pressure of Iran's Islamic system, and there are no exact statistics of their population. The Yarsanis have a distinct religious literature primarily written in the Gharani language, which also is known as Harami dialects. However, few modern Yarsani can read or write Gharani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gharani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. The speakers of Sarli, living near Eski Kalak, are adherents, as Edmonds (1957–195) and Musa (1988–168) observed. Their central religious book is called the Kalam e Saranjam, written in the 15th century based on the teachings of Sultan Sahak. The goal of Yarsanism is to teach humans to achieve ultimate truth. The Yarsani believe sun and fire are holy things and follow the principles of equalization, purity, righteousness, and oneness, which leads some researchers to find Mithraic roots in this religion. Yarsanism is barely mentioned in historical religious books as its doctrine and rituals are largely secret. The followers of Yarsanism perform their rituals and ceremonies in secret, but this has not relieved the harassment of many of the Yarsani by Islamic or other governments over the centuries. The followers of this religion say that after the Islamic Revolution in Iran, pressure on the Yarsani community has increased and they have been deprived and discriminated against for over 30 years. One of the signs of Yarsanic males is an intact mustache, as the Yarsanic holy book Kalam e Saranjam says that every man must have a mustache to take part in Yarsanic religious rites. <laughs> Beliefs The Yarsani follow the mystical teachings of Sultan Sahak. From the Yarsani point of view, the universe is composed of two distinct yet interrelated worlds, the internal Batini and the external Zahiri, each having its own order and rules. Although humans are only aware of the outer world, their lives are governed according to the rules of the inner world. This aspect of the Yarsani faith can be identified as Kurdish esoterism which emerged under the intense influence of Batini Sufism during the last two centuries. Among other important pillars of their belief system are that the divine essence has successive manifestations in human form and the belief in transmigration of the soul in Kurdish. Yarasani believe that every man needs to do what is written within their holy book, the Kalam e Saranjam, otherwise they are not part of Yarsan. There is no compulsion or exclusion in Yarsan, anyone who chooses to follow its precepts is welcome. The Yarsani faith's features include millenarism, inatism, egalitarianism, metempsychosis, angelology, divine manifestation and dualism. Many of these features are found in Yazidism, and they also have many things in common with Zoroastrians and Christians. Unlike other indigenous Persian faiths, the Yarsanism explicitly reject class, caste and rank, which sets them apart from the Yazidis and Zoroastrians. Epics of evolution According to Yarsani philosophy, the universe is evolving in through different epics and that these epics are 1. First epic, or Sharia, which includes the period from Adam and Eve until Muhammad, also known as the Prophet period. Point two. Second epic, or Tarakat, which includes the period from Ali ibn Abi Talib until Shah Koshin, also known as the Doctrine. Period. Point three. Third epic, or Marifat, which includes the period from Shah Koshin until Sultan Sahak, also known as the Mystical. Period. Point four. Fourth epic, or Hakikat, which includes the period from Sultan Sahak until today, also known as the Truth. Period. Topic: <laughs> Divine manifestations. 
The Yarsani are emanationists and incarnationists, believing that the divine essence has successive incarnations known as Mazariyats similar to the Hindu avatars. They believe God manifests one primary and seven secondary manifestations in each epoch of the world, in either angel or human form. These seven persons are known as half tan, which means the seven persons. The primary Mazariyat of the first epoch was the divine essence known as Kawandagar, who created the world. The primary Mazariyat of the second epoch was Ali ibn Abi Talib, the fourth caliph and first imam of Shia Islam. This explains the alternative name for Yarsanis Ali Alihi, believers in the divinity of Ali. The primary Mazariyat of the third epoch was Shah Koshan. In the fourth epoch, the primary Mazariyat is held to be Sultan Sahak. It is said that he was given birth by Dayarik Rezbar or Cotton e Rezbar, a Kurdish virgin, and as in the case of Mary, it was a virginal conception. While sleeping under a pomegranate tree a kernel of fruit fell into her mouth when a bird pecked the fruit directly over her. According to Yarsani legend after Sultan Sahak had completed the revelation of his esoteric teachings to his first disciples among the Guran he took his leave of them. Disappearing from the Guran country without a trace, he reappeared in Anatolia in the form of Haji Bektash Veli. He taught mystical doctrines and techniques in those lands for almost a hundred years, and then returned to the Guran country. In the perception of his disciples there, he had been away for only an hour. <laughs> Half Tan or Seven Persons Each epoch in Yarsani belief saw the appearance of the seven secondary divine manifestations or half-tan. In the first epoch they appeared in their true angelic form, while in subsequent epochs they appeared in human incarnations. The half-tan are charged with responsibility for the affairs of the internal realm. The secondary Mazariyats of the first epoch include the archangels Gabriel, Michael, Israfil and Azrael, and a female angelic being. The Mazariyats of the second epoch include Salman, Quanbar, Muhammad, Nusair who is either Jesus Christ or Theophobus and Balul. It also includes Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad as the incarnation of the female angel. The Mazariyats of the third epoch include Shah Fazlullah Veli, Baba Sarhang Dudani and Baba Naous. In the fourth epoch, the half tan or seven persons charged by Sultan Sahak with responsibility for the affairs of the inner realm consist of the following, the Half Tan. The seven archangels are key figures in the Yarsani belief system and their history. The only female among them is Cotton e Rezbar, the mother of Sultan Sahak. Pir Benjamin, considered the incarnation of the archangel Gabriel, and he has the preceptor title to all Yarsanis. Pir Musi, the incarnation of the archangel Michael and known as Recording Angel, Tuesday. Mustafadawan, the incarnation of Archangel Azrael. Wednesday. Sultan Sahak, the incarnation of Divine Essence Thursday. Baba Yadigar, also known as Ahmad and Reza Friday Cotton E. Razbar. Saturday Dawud Khazwar David Notice slang called Daoo, he is known as Dalil in Kurdish language to all Yarsanis Sunday these seven persons are known as Half Tan, which means by word, the seven persons. Topic. Transmigration of the soul Yarsanis also have a belief in transmigration of the soul Dunaduni in Kurdish. The Yarsani have a famous saying about death. Men. Do not fear the punishment of death. The death of man is like the dive which the duck makes. Human beings go through a cycle of 1001 incarnations. During this process, they may become more purified based on their actions. This process is confined however, only to Yarsanis, the Zarda gel or people created of yellow clay. Everyone else belongs to the Kak Isaya or people created of black earth, and are eternally damned. <laughs> Holy texts The traditions of the Yarsani are preserved in poetry known as Kalam e Saranjam, the discourse of conclusion, divinely revealed narratives passed down orally through the generations. 
These traditions are said to have been written down by Pir Musi, one of the seven companions of Sultan Sahak, also the angel in charge of recording human deeds. The collection consists of the epics of Kawandagar God, Ali, Shah Koshan and Sultan Sahak, the different manifestations of divinity. The epic of Shah Koshan takes place in Luristan and the epic of Sultan Sahak is placed in Haraman near the Sirwan River, the land of the Gharani. Also important to the Gharani is the Daftar e Khazana ye Perdivari, Book of the Treasure of Perdivar, a collection of 26 mythological poems or kalams. The sayings attributed to Sultan Sahak are written in Gharani Kurdish, the sacred language of the Al e Haq, which also is known as Harami dialects. However, few modern Yarsani can read or write Gharani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gharani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. Some Yarsani literature is written in the Persian language. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Worship. Holy sites Two important sanctuaries of the Yarsani are the tomb of Baba Yadgar about 40 km away from sarpal e zahab in Kermanshah province and the tomb of Dawoud at Zard about 3 km east of sarpal e zahab Another important shrine is that of Sultan Suhak in Shikan near Perdivar Bridge in Kermanshah province. The tombs of Pir Benjamin and Pir Musi in the town of Karend in Kermanshah province, Iran are also important shrines. Customs One of Yarsani men's apparent signs is to have a full mustache, because in the holy book Kalam e Saranjam it says that every man has to have a mustache to take part in their religious rites. The concourse of Yarsanis is called the Jam Khana. They gather there for all e hak jam similar to jam in Alevism and they use tambour for meditation. Organization Condens or spiritual houses Yarsanism is organized into spiritual houses or khandans, seven of which were established at the time of Sultan Sahak, and four afterwards, making eleven khandans in all. The khandans were established when, along with the Haftan, Sultan Sahak also formed the Haftawan, a group of seven holy persons charged with the affairs of the outer world. They were Sayyid Muhammad, Sayyid Abul Wafa, Haji Babusi, Mir Sir, Sayyid Mustafa, Sheikh Shahab al Din, and Sheikh Habib Shah. Each of the half tawan was charged with responsibility for the guidance of a number of followers, and these followers formed the original seven khandans, namely Shah Ibrahim, Baba Yadagar, Ali Qalandar, Kamish, Mir Sir, Sayyid Mosafa and Haji Babu Isa. After Sultan Sahak's time another four khandans were established, namely Atesh Bag, Baba Haider, Zulnur and Shah Hayaz. Every Yarsani therefore belongs to one specific khandan, which is led by a spiritual leader called a Sayyid, to whom each member must swear obedience. The Sayyid is the spiritual leader of the community and is normally present during the ceremonies attended by the followers. Sayyids are the only ones allowed to have full access to the religious texts of Yarsanism, and have traditionally competed with each other to have the largest number of followers. The position of Sayyid is hereditary, being passed down through the generations from the original founders. As the Sayyid are considered spiritual parents, it is the tradition for them not to marry their followers. <laughs> Demographics. The majority of Yarsanis are found in the Kurdish areas of Iran and Iraq, especially in Haraman and the Kermanshah province of Iran. In Iran The Yarsani in Iran are mostly found in Loristan and Kermanshah provinces There are also large communities of Yarsanis in some regions of Iranian Azerbaijan. The town of Ilkichi which is located 87 km southwest of Tabriz is almost entirely populated by Yarsanis. 
For political reasons, one of which was to create a distinct identity for these communities, they have not been called Goran Kurds since the early 20th century. They are called various names, such as Ali Alais and al e -Hak. Both the Dursim Zazaki, Zaza people and the Gharani, who speak a language that is considered to belong to the Haramani branch of the Northwest Iranian languages, adhere to a form of Kurdish Alawi faith which resembles the religions of the Yazidi, Ali Alayans or Druze. <laughs> In Iraq The Yarsani are known in Iraq as the Kakai. There are Yarsani in Iraqi Kurdistan, around Kirkuk and Sulaymaniyah. The speakers of Sarli, living near Eski Kalak in Iraq, are adherents, as Edmonds surmised and Musa observed. In Turkey Yarsanis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. Topic: <inaudible> Relationship with other religious groups. A group of native, allegedly Iranian, but archaeologically Mesopotamian, monotheistic religions practiced by Kurds consisting of Yarsani and Ezidi along with Chinarism, Ishakism, Ishak Alevism are claimed as Yazdanism. By Merdad Izidi, an excerpt from the French Review of the Muslim World describes the difficulty in nomenclature for Yarsanism and related Shiite mysticism. The English translation reads, First of all, we must clear up the confusion resulting from the variety of names given to the sect of Allah Haq, which are liable to be misunderstood. Like any religion, the one we are dealing with considers itself to be the only true and orthodox one, and it is natural that its adherents give themselves the name of People of Truth. Alay Hak or Alay Hakikat. This term lacks precision, as other sects, for example the Horufus, occasionally apply it to themselves. Still, the name Alay Hak to refer to the sect of our particular interest has every advantage over appellations such as Golat, Ali Alahi, and Nozairi that the Muslims and most European travelers use in speaking of them. The first term, which encompasses all of the extremist Shiites, is too broad and too vague. The second term, deifiers of Ali, has the same fault and emphasizes what is only a detail in the religious system under discussion. Finally, the name, Nozairi, belongs to that well-defined Syrian religion, which, despite some resemblances with the doctrines of the Alay Haq, the worship of Ali, the communion, etc., appears to present a complex of quite different old beliefs. Relations with Islam al e Haq view Islam as a product of a cycle of divine essence, which was made manifest in Ali, and established the stage of shayat Islamic law. This was followed by the cycle of Tariqat Sufi teachings, then Marifat Sufi Nasus, and finally the current cycle of Haqiqat ultimate truth, which was made manifest in Sultan Sahak. The final stage supersedes the previous ones, which frees al e Haq from observing the Sharia rules incumbent on Muslims. al e Haq class other Muslims as either al e Tashayu followers of Shi'ism or al e Tasanun followers of Sunnism. The al e Haq neither observe Muslim rites, such as daily prayers and fasting during the month of Ramadan, nor share Islamic theology and sacred space, such as belief in the day of resurrection and sanctity of the mosque. Extremist Sunni Islamic groups such as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and Al-Qaeda regard the followers of Yarsanism as unbelievers who have to convert to Islam or die. These militants have prosecuted Yarsanis during the Iraq conflict, possibly prompting some Iraqi Yarsan community leaders to declare in 2013 that their people were actually Muslims to avoid sectarian attacks. See also Ali Ilahism Goran Kurds Mithraism <laughs>